Hey guys, it's Alora, and today I'm going to be talking about my May TBR. So May is kind of a strange month for me because this first week I have a slew of finals. I have six finals, guys, in one week. It's crazy. And then I go on vacation for about four days, and then I'm back and I have a week and a half with nothing to do, and it's going to be amazing. And then I start summer courses, and I'm taking more than a full load of those, so... I don't really know how much time I'm going to have to read, but I'm going to tell you about the books that I'm hoping to get to in this upcoming month. The first book that I want to talk about is the one that I'm reading currently, and that is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. So many people have loved this book and said that it's hilarious and that it has a good message. It is an LGBT plus book. The basic plot is that we're following Simon, who is a junior in high school, and he's having these email correspondences with a guy named Blue. That's not his real name, but it's this guy who actually goes to his real life school yet Simon and Blue don't know their real identity. So they're having an email friendship slash flirtationship without actually knowing who the other person is. And so we follow their relationship and we also follow Simon in his real life and him trying to deal with coming to terms with the fact that he's gay and he's not really that bothered by it, but you know, it's going to affect aspects of his life. Simon is a very funny character so far, so I'm really looking forward to finishing this book. I'm about halfway through, maybe not quite, almost halfway through with it right now, so we'll see. Another book that I'm currently in the middle of is How to Live a Good Life by Jonathan Fields. Now this is a self-empowerment, self helpy type book, so it's taking me a little while to get through because there are a certain number of lessons and you're only supposed to do one a day, so I should finish this month though. Um, I'm about, again, am I going to say about a third of the way through? but I'll definitely finish in the month of May, so I'll let you know what I think about it when I'm done. His basic premise is that there are three different buckets that you have to fill, that you have to keep at a certain level of fullness at all times in order to live a good life. And so those three buckets are your vitality bucket, your connection bucket, and your contribution bucket. So like I said, I will let you know what I think about it when I'm done. The next book that I'm going to be reading is actually going to be an audiobook, and that is the third book in the Akatar series by Sarah J Maas. So I'm going to be reading A Court of Wings and Ruin, and I will be listening to it on audiobook because I've listened to the first two on audiobook and I really like the narrator, and I just like that format for hearing the story. The book comes out on May 2nd, which is tomorrow, so I'm so excited! I just can't even express how excited I am. I loved the second book. It was my one of my favorite books of last year. I absolutely, absolutely devoured that book. So I'm going to be listening to that this month, and I will probably do a review. Would anybody be interested in a discussion type video for that book? I know it's the third book in a series, so not very many people have necessarily read the first two, but I know that I love this series, so I would be down to talk about it a lot. <laughs> so just let me know what you think about that. The next book is one that I just need to freaking finish, and that is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I can't even tell you how long I've been reading this book. I really enjoy it, I really like his writing style, but for whatever reason I just keep putting it off and it might just be because it's a thousand pages long and intimidating as all get out. I don't know what it is. <sighs> I don't know, but I really need to finish it. I think I only have 250 pages left or something. Let's see. Yeah, I'm on page 738, so I have less than 300 pages left. I just need to finish it. I'm gonna finish it. I'm keeping myself accountable. I'm saying in this video, I'm finishing this book in May. I'm doing it, all right? All right. The last book that I wanna talk about in this video is another fantasy that I am so excited for, and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I've read one short story by Lainey Taylor, and that was in the Christmas collection, My True Love Gave to Me, I think is what it was called. I loved her writing style. It was so whimsical and engrossing and lush and just uh, delicious. And I own her other series, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, but I haven't read it yet for whatever reason. But this one was just released and I bought it and it's sitting on my nightstand. I mean, right now it's in my hand, but usually it's sitting on my nightstand and I am going to read it this month. I know it's really long, but I guess it's about this young man who's a sort of librarian and he has this interest in a place called Weep. It's this city or town or area that kind of disappeared off the maps and out of the books and he's super fascinated by it and what happened to this place and then I guess this convoy comes from this place called Weep and takes him there so everything unfolds from there. I don't really know much more about it but I know that it's going to be magical and I'm really looking forward to that. 
Okay guys, those are all of the books that I'm planning on reading in May. Hopefully I get to all of them. Hopefully I get to more than just those books, but those are the ones that I for sure want to make sure to get to. What books are you planning on reading in May? Do you have a top one or two picks? Leave them down in the comments below. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and until next time, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye guys.